blindsided. I was a guitar riff that I had for a long time, and I couldn't really get a melody or come up with anything. I knew it was a great guitar riff. I had it for a sit on for a couple of years, and uh, I played it to Damon, and he really dug it. And I was in a hotel in Munich, and I think I was just listening to a lot of Tom Waits that day, and that inspired the story of uh, this guy who's, you know, been a junkie, been an alcoholic, been down his luck. Meets the woman of his dreams, he promises in the world. You know, she says to him, Let's meet up, we're gonna run off into the sunset together. He gets clean, he gets sober, he gives up everything for this woman. The day they're due to run away, she, she ditches him at the train station and doesn't show. And uh, he says, Well, maybe I was better off being, uh, being in my world of misery and, and, and going back to what I was doing because every time I see this glimmer of light, it always gets you know, stuffed out before I can ever. Walk into it, uh, and that's it. You know, it's like I'm blindsided. It's like I'm being fooled again. You know, I keep trying to, to better myself, but every time I, I, I make the right turn, I, the road gets blocked. Yeah, I mean, again, it's one of my riffs, and, and I played it with Damon, and it was a little bit, I guess. Black Keys, Arctic Monkeys kind of vibe going on in, with the riff. Uh, again, I wanted a simple lyric, and I, I, I wrote it pretty much directly about people that do anything in life just for the sake of it and not from the heart, whether that be painting, making music, any job you do. If you're not feeling it, don't believe in it, and you're just cheating yourself, you know, you know why are you doing it, basically? Again, that's an old, that's a hangover again from the first album. A Scott Gorham riff, killer riff. Um, again, Nick Raskolinich came in, rearranged it a lot, made a lot of timing changes, which made, made the song even more authentic. Um, I love reading Steinberg, I love reading Conan McCarthy, I love the American Road stories of you know, the kids jumping in a car and just driving in the middle of America trying to find something. I came up with the story of two kids in this Billy and Tina, you know, both high on, on meth, running off into the, you know, the Americana sort of sunset, as it were, trying to look for something, not really knowing what they're looking for, and just finding, you know, I guess pain and misery and more heartbreak and hardship, and uh, hence the story behind the song. Again, it's Scott, Scotty Gorham riff. Scott brought in not a killer riff. Um, it had obviously a real Native American feel to it, so that inspired the lyric. Um, the lyric was somebody sent me a, a, a an online uh, news cutting of this um, billboard. It was somewhere like Montana or Dakota in America, and it was Native Americans and it, standing behind this writing that said "Turn in your arms." And basically, they, they were talking about the gun laws, they are in America right now, and, and the problems that happened with that. And they were trying to impose it on, on one of these states, and basically the Americans were saying, well, you know, last time you asked us to give up our guns, like, what happened? You took our lands from us, our culture from us, our heritage from us. So, you know, we need to think about that before we do it again, and that really inspired the whole sort of thing. You little liar, why should I believe? Yeah, I mean, a heavy song, seven and a half minutes long. Again, Damon and Scott and, and everybody, and Robbie and Jimmy, just play their asses off on this. It's an epic song. Um, got a nice little groove in the verse, which I really love. I wanted a simple lyric, something catchy. Um, didn't want to overcomplicate it too much on that. And I, I, based on Sunday, I know it's telling a lot of lies and lying even more to, to, to dig themselves out of a hole where they think they are. And it's just the, the mess that lying and more lying can get you into. Lyrically, simple as that. Directed at something that I know very well.